What's up guys and welcome to my channel Flame with a 4. In this video we're going to be doing stage 109 fitting the right rear fender. It says render so I'm guessing we're going to go with render. Um, I thought it would be fender but maybe render. Um, and then also it's just kind of got a guide in here how we're going to fit it, how we're going to put it on. And then we're going to incorporate um, stage 110 the left rear fending and skirting. So uh, we're going to be building that as well so there's not much to do on that so we're just going to incorporate it so we do both and there's quite a bit to do on this one so i can't wait to do this review we're going to go grab the pieces out for issue 109 so they should look a little bit like this we're going to pop them out of the packaging and we'll be back in just a sec Right guys, as you can see, we do have quite a bit of stuff. What I'm going to try and do is I'm just going to leave these in the packaging and maybe just get them out as and when we need them because they don't take too long to get them out uh, and then build from there. So the first thing it's asking us to do is telling us to get 109A, which is this red section here. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be attaching 109B, which is going to be this chrome section here. We're going to be fitting that into basically just the top of this. There are locating lugs in there as well. So that just literally just pops into there with a little locating lug. And then if we turn it up this way around, we're about to see that a screw can go in through there. So what they want us to do here is put an AP screw in. So we're going to go grab an AP screw just from our packet. We we'll probably only need one, so what I'll do is just pop one back in there and then get it ready on the screwdriver. We'll probably go ahead and do what we were doing before, where we kind of put it in with one screwdriver uh, and then tighten up with the other one. But what I can do is just see, because these sometimes go magnetized after a little while, and I'll see if that works. So that just goes into there, like so. Hold that in place, hopefully. And then just pop the screw just into there. Going to start screwing up. Remember, this is only plastic. This is all plastic, this lot. So be careful where you're pushing on and holding tight uh, when you're trying to screw this in because you can possibly break the plastic. And that's kind of something you really don't want to be doing uh, at this stage because the replacement issue takes about a month. So if you can help it, try not to break it. Right, so that's what I want us to do. 109B is this chrome section here that is now into place into 109A. You're holding in with an AP screw, just goes in underneath there, as you can see, and that is pretty much it for that. So the next thing it's saying for us to do is to take 109C, which is just this little lens, and with the last one, we just kind of held it and then just pushed it in. We're gonna do the same again. There we go. And that's kind of like a little bullet lens on the back there. Just pushes in really nicely. What it wants us to do next, it wants us to go and grab the right tail light LED 66D marked with an R. So we're gonna go down onto the model down here and try and find R. And then we will be able to install that. So we'll be back as soon as we've found that guys, okay? Right guys, once you've grabbed your LED, this is R. So once you've got the R LED, what you want to do is you want to grab the long piece. So that's a separate piece of the piece we're working on. And you want to put this, you want to basically put the section, that, not the section that goes straight into this. You want to put the one that comes off of it. So as you can imagine, this is straight. It's got an LED on the end. The bit that comes off of it, you will need to pop that into this recess here. So we're just going to just pop it in to where it's got to go. You possibly will need to use um, a screwdriver or something just to sort of ease it into the hole, but they kind of just sit in there, so they don't need a lot of work. What we're gonna do is just gonna quickly pop this one in first, and then I'll show you where we mean for it to go. There we go. Let's just pop that out. Right, let's just get a different screwdriver. I'm going to get a flat head and then push that in. You can't see what I'm doing, but I'm going to come and show you, so don't worry. I will come over there and show you what's going on. You won't be left in the lurch. So we're basically just pushing that LED from here into the side there, and that's going into there. So that's pushed in, and there's a little recess. And then you'll have this one sticking out. 
What it's saying for us to do next is saying for us to take this chrome section 107C and it's saying for us to just kind of sit that over the top here and there's kind of a couple of locating lugs and they should just sit over the top of that. They're not asking us to glue it in, they are literally just asking us to sit that over the top. So that will look like that on that side and then there you can see them sitting over the top on the inside just locating there and there. So once that's in place what it's asking us to do is grab this section here so we need to grab this which they call um, the basic bit in the 109B um, and we're putting the LED into that so if we want to lay that down we're probably going to have to kind of spin that so it's at an angle that LED and then we need to pop that I'm going to put it kind of on top and underneath. it's getting really fiddly but you'll see what I mean um, when we kind of get it together. I need to put it close and then we will need to grab this again. So let's just do this. Let's get into that lovely fiddly stage where there's quite a lot to do in one sitting. Right, let's do this. I'm going to put them in and then it's just easier to put them in and then come over and show you so you can see where they're going. There we go, I think that's in enough. Lovely, so that's now pushed into place. So as you can imagine, it goes like that. So you're sitting in one LEDs in, so now it's kind of joined. We do need to put this chrome section back on. We will quickly do that. Um, it does like to just keep coming off. It's this way around. I'm hoping it will stay into place. I'm going to just leave it there for a minute while we see what they want us to do next, because hopefully this will all come together. It might be easier to just super glue these in. It probably just will be so much easier to super glue them in, but it doesn't ask us to do that. So obviously don't do that if you don't need to, but yeah. What I'm going to do is I am going to, I'm going to have to probably grab that chrome skirt as well because I think this is all going to hold it in together. So you need to put your chrome skirt back on. It shouldn't have obviously come off, um, but we didn't leave it on for the pure fact that it just kept falling off. So that should also clip into place. So you're going to have a few things, a few fiddly things to add on to this as you go along. So this should still be left on from previous. So as we're holding that into place, we need to make sure this stays in place as well, which sits up on here. Just gonna push that back into place there. And hopefully the other bit won't fall off. So that just sits over top of there. And then this light lens should go over this and hold those in. You might need to hold them as you go and see where it takes us. It's very fiddly. I would definitely 100% recommend um, maybe gluing those chrome bits in, but I'm going to try and do it how they want us to do it first before we even attempt to do that. Um, the cables are getting snagged a little bit, so we just need to make sure they are up and out of the way. But you can move them about so it's not too bad. You can kind of see where they want us to put them out the out the way there. That does go in okay afterwards. Just need to make sure we're not catching on anything. Bring all those cabling down. Out of the way. There we go. So while I've got that in place, what they want us to do, they want us to put um, at the top a WP screw. So we can just go ahead and do that. So we just need to find a WP screw. So let's have a quick look where one of those will be. And then down here in the lower section, we'll do them and then we'll show you. We need... Uh, two NP screws. So they're, they're really changing up what screws and stuff you will need. So we need an NP screw. 
So we just need to quickly find an MP screw. So we've got two of them here. That screw should hold all that together. So we should be okay. So we need an MP screw. So we'll start that off. And the MP screw goes, one goes in here. To hold that section in place, which is great. Start that off. And then there's another MP screw further down. I will bring this over and show you guys what we are doing. Don't worry. We've got another one of these to do as well, so you're gonna have to expect fiddly, fiddliness. <laughs> That's a big one. As there are the two NP screws, and then there's an LP screw, um, just to switch it up, you know, just to make things a bit more complicated. It's gonna just possibly use the same screws. So an LP screw to go in down the end here. Well, I guess it's a little bit shorter, so that's probably why. So that just going down there. And then we'll use our bigger screwdriver to just quickly do them up. Hold it all into place. And remember, this is plastic into plastic. Um, when you're doing plastic into plastic, please just bear in mind that you don't need to go over the top because you will break the plastic. It's really not what you want to do. You do want to make sure it's done tight enough so that it's holding it together. If you overdo it, you'll just overdo the threads and then you just won't be able to go back and rectify it. And that's really not what you want to do. You want to make sure you can get to everything. Just feel to make sure it's not loose. If it's loose, go an extra turn. Don't go all the way down. Just do an extra few little turns here and there. That's really all it needs. Going to pop this one in and then we're going to talk about what screws we've just put in here so here we go so that was quite fiddly to do but it looks good so that's the main thing i'm just going to find my little pointing tool here so what they wanted us to do they wanted us to pop a wp screw in the top here there so just in that top corner and then they wanted us to put an n two np screws one went in just there in that section there and then another NP screw went in here. And then they wanted us to finish it off with an LP screw that just went in that little section here. And that's where that went. Right, so the next thing they're asking us to do is to take this white section here. And they're asking us to pop that on with two EM screws. So that will just sit literally over there like that. Like so. So if you've got it like here, that will just sit over like that. And then we're going to quickly go pop two... EP screws in and we'll be back as soon as that's done guys. We won't be long. We'll see you in a sec So there we go guys I lied to you I said there were EP screws there were actually EM screws So what it is is that section goes in there and then on the inside here as you can see there was two EM screws one there and one there holding it in place But look at that doesn't that look absolutely beautiful how that's all held in like that, really, really nice. So we're just gonna lay that down. Remember you have got a cable now to sort of like comprehend with, and we're gonna put in two of the holders. So basically where they will hold the cables in, they will go on the inside, but they're gonna go on the inside of the actual wing itself. So what we need to do is grab the wing section here, and on the inside, we need these two little clip cable things, and they are just gonna sit and then go on to this section here. So what I need to do is just see what way around they want them to go and where they go. So it looks like they just sit over that bit there, which is fine. And then they need to sit over that top section there as well. So what they're asking us to do to put them on, they're just asking us to put two XM screws in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go grab two XM screws, just put them over here so we don't get them muddled up all the other ones. So just need two of these. I'm just going to put one away because one's just going to be spare and I don't want to get it mixed up. And they're going to go and hold these brackets on. I'm going to pop them in and then we'll be back and show you where they go in just a sec. So there you go guys. So these are the two brackets hold, held in with the XM screw. So I'm guessing this is where the cable is going to run through. There's just one here and then you kind of just slide it over it, over the screw there. And then just another one on there as well. 
So that section is done. So what it's asking us to do next is saying for us to put in like the splash shield. So it's kind of like a wheel arch and that will just sit up inside here. So we just need to check what way around it goes. So it just sits absolutely perfect just like that. So I'll just take it out and show you again. So that comes off, that just sits in there. It just sits over, there's three screws in there. We'll pop those in, we'll come back and show you. So they are gonna be EM screws again. So we've already got those out, so that's good. Pop those in and we'll be back in just a sec. Well, there you go, guys. So that's done. That was quite quickly, quite quick and nice and easy. Uh, so there's three uh, EM screws that go there. One, two, and three. And then that kind of like holds the splash shield on and looks like that. So if you look underneath the arch, you won't see any of the stuff in here um, in where the wheel goes because obviously it will be hidden. So really cool. The next thing we get to do, looks like it might be a tiny little bit more complicated than what we were hoping, but let's try and do this. We can do this, guys. So what we need to do is we need to just lay this section here, the one we built up with the light in it, just needs to sit over the top here. See how well and easy it goes on. It goes on really easy. Um, and then there's three scrolls, scrolls, screws that hold that on. They are the DM screws. So what we're going to do is we're going to go grab the DM screws, pop them out here, pop those in, and then we'll come back when that's all together, just so you guys can see what that looks like when that bit's done as well. So guys, that was the three DM screws holding that in. But look at this wing from this side. Look how beautiful that looks from that side doesn't that look amazing so on this side however on the inside we'll just get the point and stick and show you so we attached this top section this top section was held in by three dm screws there was one that went in here there was one that went in there just underneath that section there and then another one that went in just down there in that corner i don't know if you can see it at the right angle but it's just held in down there so they hold this bit on and it helped it help, Goes on quite flush, it looks really nice. Um, very, very nice. I don't think there's any wobble in it. Um, sits on really good. I'm really happy with how it lines up. We're gonna lay it back down on here before we end up damaging it in some way. And then what we're gonna do is just see what it wants us to do next. So it looks like we're gonna get to put in the light lens here. So this is gonna go on the end here. And it looks like it just kind of sits over the top if we can like that so it just sits over like that i don't know if you saw that so just take it back off so that just sits over there like that clicks in really nicely there we go and then that just finishes that tail light off there and what we're going to do is we're going to put a couple of screws in they're going to be fiddly and they've got to kind of go in that way so we're going to go pop them in they're going to be two ip screws so again another two different screws we'll pop those in and then we'll be back as soon as that is done. They did go in way easier than I could ever imagine them going in and that, that's held on really tight. I don't know whether you'll be able to see, but I'll try and show you that on the inside of here, there are two DM screws that go, the one down here and one down that side. And the, the, no, IP screws, sorry, say DM. IP screws, one down here and one down there. And that holds this whole tail light section on and into place. So looking such an incredible piece it's just such a big bit to build so it kind of feels really good to build it so what it wants us to do next let's have a look see what it's telling us to do there's going to be quite a big section going on real soon so um what it's saying for us to do here there's a lot of im screws coming up real soon uh, that we're gonna to have to put in place and they're saying for us to trail the cable uh, down and around underneath there and then down through there and then down underneath there what i might do is put some fabric tape in place as well just to keep it all in and then they're asking for it to come out and then go underneath the vehicle so we'll need to just clear a space and then we'll come back in just a sec but the only screws that we're going to be needing from now on are going to be um by the looks of it, the little IM screw. So we're gonna get it turned upside down and then we'll be back in just a second. Okay guys, so on closer inspection, um, when we are building this section in, it doesn't look like this cable runs through there at all. So that's fine. Um, but what we need to do, I'm just gonna just lift this up and put this over just to see, is this will go on 
this way round, but this cable here that's running out the back here, um, that is the one that's going to be running and trailing um, through there to come back out down here. So um, by the looks of it, unless there's another one, there's three, it's gonna be this one here. So this plug here is gonna be the one that's running and trailing down. So you wanna just pop that underneath the little runner there. We can deal with all this on the inside. It's not gonna to matter too much, but that is what that's for. And then we need to just then go ahead and kind of just put it into place, make sure that everything fits nicely. This one needs to come over the top there. That one also needs to come over the top there as well. And I'm just assuming that the one that we just installed as well, that needs to come over the top. So you will have three all together. Just put that over there. And they've all got to kind of run up the top there and not get snagged and go underneath where it's got to go. So you just need to be careful when you're putting on. So that's just going to go into place. There are a lot of different types of screws. So there are YM, IM, and then there are also the other ones as well. Um, what else have we got? Um, a NP. So they're all got to go on the inside to hold this wing on. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna put them all in where they gotta go, and then it's probably gonna be better. Once we're finished, we'll just come back and show you where they all went and do a nice up close look at that uh, before we continue. So we're gonna go put those on and we'll be back in just a sec. Okay guys, so we now put all those in and my God, the only word I've got for this model at the moment is just incredible how nice it looks. So uh, I'm just gonna quickly talk you through where the screws go because there are, different screws for different things and just want to explain what goes where. So we've got um, we've got the YM screws, which are just here. They're the longest ones and they go in this section here. So they go in the closest to the door. There's two of those, they go closest to the door. There are um, NP screws and basically just think of them as the plastic screws. So they just go along the bottom. So there are one, two, three, four, five along the bottom down here. And so they are the ones of the MP screws. And then the last ones are the IM screws. So they're the main ones. And just think of them in the pillars. So there are pillars that are here. There's a pillar there and there's a pillar here and there's a pillar there. They are where the IM screws go. And then there's one just on the end of the tail like here. That's also an IM screw. And that's what holds in that section in the top there as well. So what we're gonna do is gonna quickly flip it up so you guys can see how amazing this is looking. We need to keep all these cables inside, try not to snag them, but the good thing is we've got the foam to allow us to keep moving this thing around like that. So spin that around and look at that. That wing is just absolutely incredible. So this is the rear door here. That still all opens fine and into place doesn't snag or anything. I don't know how they've got that so it's so flush. Looks absolutely amazing. The door, just how that tail light looks, it's just absolutely incredible. It just looks really, really nice. So there you go, look how nice that is looking. So, it's gonna pop that out of the way. As we promised, we said we will do the last bit on this and that is stage 110. What we're going to do, go grab these pieces out because this is not going to take long at all. And then we're going to get ready to get the next wing done. So we'll be back in just a sec. Okay, guys, as you can see, there's not many pieces. This is figure A, which is what we're going to be creating. Uh, and to create figure B, all we need to do is just pop this panel onto this section here. Turn it upside down and pop two screws in there. We're going to go do that and we will be back in just a sec. There you go guys, real simple. The only difference with this one, it has a couple of big holes here, which is obviously gonna have the pipe in and stuff like that, which is gonna look really amazing. And then a couple of things added on here. Uh, so we will get to build this up a little bit more uh, in the upcoming issues. We will be left over with one of the uh, BM screws. So make sure you keep that safe. We're just gonna quickly flick through the magazine and then we'll have a quick look at what we've actually done so far. So it talks a little bit about the Fort, whoa, 
It's so good. Um, I don't really want to ruin this for you guys because if you got it, I don't want to start reading out stuff and then ruining it. Um, it's easier that we just leave it to your imagination. I'm going to have a quick flick through myself. Try not to hold you up too much. After seeing the new one, it was really, really emotional. Um, we're going to go through. So it says your parts. So basically, it just shows us what parts we've got in in the upcoming ones. It looks like we kind of pretty much nearly build the whole um, the whole fender for this side and maybe get to fit it on as well. So that's going to be really cool. I can't wait to do this with you guys. This is what we've got coming up soon. If you really like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you can, please subscribe to the channel just by clicking down here. It really helps us out. Uh, and then also, if you're building it as well, please let us know how you're getting on. And I'm just going to recap real quick on what we've done before we go before we get our next set of issues. So we should have this side completed in this stage. And then also, let's just see if we can get them both in shot for you. So we should have that completed. And then we should also have this fender as well, which is just there. So look how amazing it is. Can't wait to do more of this with you guys. It's really fun uh, building this thing. Um, it's just absolutely amazing. It's such an iconic thing for uh, me growing up as well, watching this and um, you know seeing it uh, as a child. And it's such a great uh, film to um, be able to build the iconic car from it is just amazing. So if you've seen the new film, you know what I mean. Uh, if you watched right to the end. So um, if you haven't already, um, please subscribe like share and subscribe and see you guys on the next one take care now bye bye